today we're going to be looking at an exotic that has been a favorite of mine for almost a decade this is my favorite exotic back in destiny 1 it had some rough times in destiny 2 and it is honestly so good to use right now and that is going to be celestial nighthawk the big boy golden gun supreme and it has gotten a lot of love. It's actually really, really good this season. But before we get into that, I hope everybody had some good holidays. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more of these builds coming out this season. And let's have a quick word from our spec we're going to be talking about today is one of my favorites and has been for a very long time. And that is going to be Celestial Nighthawk, which comes with the exotic trait Hawkeye Hack. Precision final blows reduce the cooldown of your super modifies golden gun to fire a single high damage shot targets defeated by that shot give you super energy back and explode as i've mentioned a few times this is my favorite exotic and has been since destiny one i would use this in patrols strikes pvp anything and everything i basically refuse to take it off like stompy hunters do today with their exotic for a while in destiny 2 this exotic wasn't that good as we had introduced a ton of really good options, Star Eater Scales to use with Golden Gun itself, and even Blade Barrage with Shards of Galenor. There were just better options for a very long time. But with the launch of Season of the Wish, this exotic finally got some love, and we can easily get that max damage number we all love to get when we use this particular exotic. First, they increased the damage total by about 20%, bringing it up to roughly 650% increase for the one shot we get this is a roughly 72 percent increase over three precision hits with marksman as a whole if we defeat that target with that shot we get 33 percent of our super refunded to us which helps a lot with the thing they added to this exotic this season the ability to reduce our cooldown by landing those precision final blows depending on the target we defeat depends on the amount we get back and it ranges from 1.5 percent to 4.5 percent which may not seem like a lot but it adds up very quickly, especially when paired with a particular exotic that we have at our disposal. But before we actually talk about that particular weapon, there are some things that you can also do to make this build even better if you don't want to use that weapon that I'm going to talk about. First things first, any precision based weapons are an amazing choice for this build. Think things like hand cannons, scout rifles, pulse rifles, snipers, and even linear fusion rifles are amazing amazing pairings as these do high precision damage and can easily mop up those low end mobs so that this way you can get your super back even faster from those precision defeats off of Nighthawk. Now on to the weapon that I actually really like to use for this build and that is going to be Bad Juju. Now I know a lot of people just heard Bad Juju and wanted to click off the video but if you just stick around, it'll all make sense in just a second. This exotic pulse rifle comes with the exotic trait String of Curses. Kills, refill the magazine, increase damage for a short duration, and grant super energy based on the strength of String of Curses fires in full auto. We can basically ignore the full auto firing option thing as we have that as a setting now. However, we can't ignore the main point of this exotic and the pairing and the reason why we're doing it, and that is getting our super back even faster by defeating targets. Each defeated target will give us one stack of String of Curses, which is like rampage as it will increase our damage each time we will get this stack and we'll get increasing super energy with each stack as well which does work with nighthawk if it is a precision defeat this makes it so no matter what we are getting super energy and double dipping when we get those precision defeats it also has a catalyst called Unending Curse, which makes it so those stacks of String of Curses last longer, meaning we can chain it even more, even better, and get the most super gains we can get between both of these two things combined. Moving on to our class setup, we're going to start with Knock em Down. Your solar supers are enhanced, and for Marksman Golden Gun, that is going to give us an increased duration. While we are radiant, final blows with our equipped throwing knife is going to refund our melee 
energy. This aspect is nice as it's going to give us more time to line up that precision shot for our golden gun as we only get the one and it is very important to hit that between getting the big damage, potentially getting that defeat, and getting at 33% refund on our melee. Also, being able to refill our melee on defeats while raiding is going to be very helpful when talking about some armor mods that we're going to look at later on in this video. For our second aspect, we're going to take on your mark. Precision final blows grant you and your allies a stack of on your mark, which increases your weapon handling and reload. This stacks three times. Activating your class ability gives you max stacks. We're going to be trying to get as many precision final blows as often as we can, so we may as well help out our teammates and ourselves as the reload bonus is extremely nice. Even at one stack, you're going to notice the difference. Plus, having the three fragment slots off of just this one aspect is another huge benefits as we're now going to talk about our fragments. The first fragment we're going to take a look at is Amber of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant with a minus 10 to our discipline. With this we can easily become radiant so we can chain our melees, get that damage bonus to our weapons, and we also get that radiant damage bonus to our golden gun as it benefits from being radiant, increasing our damage even further. The next fragment we're going to take a look at is Ember of Solace. Radiant and restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. This is going to give us that extra increased time for Radiant so we can have that extra damage for our guns and our golden gun for longer. It's also going to increase our time for restoration which we're going to get from Ember of Mercy. When you revive an ally, you and other nearby allies gain restoration. Picking up a Fire Sprite grants restoration with a plus 10 to our resilience. The increase to resilience is super nice for the resistance we get in PvE. Also, getting restoration from reviving an ally is also a nice little bonus as we really want it from the fire sprites, and to make that, we're going to take Ember of Searing. Defeating Scorched targets grants a melee energy and creates a fire sprite with a plus 10 to our recovery. We will scorch targets with our knives, grenades, and solar weapons because of the artifact. This, in turn, will give us melee energy and make us a fire sprite for us to get our restoration. The last fragment we're going to be taking, at least for myself, as you can swap this out for anything, is going to be Ember of Singeing. Your class ability recharges faster when you Scorch targets. When we Scorch a target, we're going to get a 300% increase to our class ability, which we can use to get our knife back if need be, or immediately give us those three stacks of On Your Mark more often, giving us those very, very nice bonuses. For our armor mods, we're going to start with our helmet and take Kinetic Siphon so Bad Juju can make orbs for us and hands on, so all the melee we throw can help us reduce our cooldown for our golden gun. I also have Radiant Light to help give out armor charges when we use our super, as we should be able to get our super back quite often. On arms, I have Heavy Handed for orb creation and two stacks of Focusing Strike, so we can just get our dodge back faster when we do hit targets with our knives. On our chest, I'm going to take Charge It Up for the extra stack of armor charge because I did take Argent Ordnance off of the artifact, so in case I do run a rocket launcher, I want to have those extra stacks, and then our usual resist or reserve mods. On legs, I took a double stack of kinetic weapon surge. Not only does this help bad juju, but it also increases our golden gun damage, and I think this is because it uses the Hawkmoon gun model for its super, so I think that affects it with those kinetic surges. Don't use three surges, or it is going to break, and it won't work at all. Also, take one of the orb pickup mods that we have available to us on our legs. On our cloak, we have Reaper for orb generation, powerful attraction to pull orbs to us, and then your choice of bomber or outreach depending on which of your other abilities you want to help along. For artifact, there are some very important mods you're going to want, and the first we're going to be taking is Kindling Trigger. While radiant, your solar weapons will scorch targets that aren't already scorched. I like to use solar specials with this build. For example, I would use my Cartesian and coordinate and that would scorch targets and give me that increase from ember of singeing we're also going to take heart of the flame casting your solar super grants nearby allies radiant increases the damage of your super for each nearby ally this is also going to give us radiant while we are inside of golden gun so there is no need to worry about applying it beforehand and the extra damage we get from allies being near is going to be very helpful to hit those max numbers torch while radiant deal increased weapon damage 
damage to combatants affected by strand and stasis. Debuffs. I like taking a strand heavy for this reason. If it has the trait slice, that is even better. But if not, we're also going to take unraveling orbs. Picking up an orb of power grants strand weapons unraveling rounds. Unravel is a strand debuff, so when we use Golden Gun and get Radiant, we're also going to increase damage to that target. And finally, we have Revitalizing Blast. Causing damage with a solar ability weakens champions and bosses for a short duration. This is something different than Torch, meaning it's going to stack and we're going to get even higher damage from our Golden Gun. For stats, we're going to want Resilience or Resistance and Intellect so we can reduce that cooldown even further. Overall, as a whole, this build has been my go-to build for running dungeons and even the coil because this way we can just chunk those bosses down and get through the activity very very quickly. There's been many many times where I've hit the maximum of 999,999. I didn't hit it in this video as you really do need a coordinated team to get Heart of the Flame to really work for you but it is possible. I have hit that big number with this build consistently inside of dungeons and it's overall just a really good thing to see. So that is the end of this video so like, comment, and and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more. Let me know how the audio sounds in this as I got a new microphone and I need to dial in the settings. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.